Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we are going to be sharing seven powerful features for the S Pen on the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. These tips and tricks are going to further enhance your experience with your smartphone. So let's dive in and get started right away. All right, so the very first feature I'm going to talk about has to do with your calendar. So what you want to do is you want to launch your calendar application. There's going to be two ways to get this done. First, I'm going to show you the regular way. So you launch the calendar application on the top you're gonna see a button that says write. So what you do is you tap this with your S Pen and it's gonna activate the writing mode where you can actually start writing on your calendar and start taking notes. And of course, obviously, this is gonna to be too small to take detailed notes. So you are able to zoom in up to 400 times into any date and then you can take notes on it, okay? And you can also change the format of the pen. So at the bottom, I can tap over here and make the format a little bit thinner, change the color for different events maybe, okay? And I can write as you can see. And I can do this anywhere I want. I can move this around with one finger as you can see, and I can zoom in by pinching in and out. So I can write my notes right here, blah, 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 whatever you want. Now the best part is when you save this, it actually gets saved in your calendar as you just saw. Now when I exit, let me kill that application. And if I go back into the calendar application, you can see I can, in fact, see the notes that I took on the calendar app. All right, the next way to get this done is by using the Air Command menu. I like this one better. It's just quicker. You pull the pen out, you tap on the button, brings up the Air Command menu, and you simply go on to Write on Calendar. So if you're in a rush, you just tap this guy, you pinch in, you take your quick note, you tap on Save, and you're good to go. Now to make this work, you have to activate this. So when I tap this button, you can see it brings up the Air Command Mini. So let's go inside there and add this feature to make sure you actually have it when you tap the button, all right? So go to the settings and then scroll down and go to advanced features right here. Then go to S Pen and then go to Air Command right here and you are gonna see right here, we have the Air Command shortcuts. By the way, just make sure this one is enabled as well. Open Air Command with the pen button, which is right here. But anyway, go to shortcuts and make sure the right on calendar shortcut is in fact on this column right here, okay? So if I take this off, you'll see it's gonna populate under S Pen Features area. So if I tap on it, it gets added to this column, which is the active column. Now, after you add it, you can press and hold and you can bring it to the top, okay? So now I have that in my active column all the way on the top. So when I do click the button, it is gonna bring right on calendar right here and I can access that right away. Fantastic, let's move on. All right, the next feature has to do with the S Pen right here. So basically, it's a very expensive little product. I think it's like $40, $50 if you lose it and you wanna get a replacement. So let's make sure you never lose it in the first place. So again, go to the settings and scroll down and go to advanced features and go into the S Pen. Once you're here, scroll down and go to more S Pen settings and make sure you enable this option. So this says, warn if the S Pen is left behind. So when you enable this, and if I leave this S Pen right here on the table in a coffee shop, and I take the phone and I leave, the first thing that's gonna happen is, the phone is going to beep, and it's gonna give you a notification saying, hey, you forgot your S Pen, go get it. So that's number one. Number two, let's say you did lose it and you walked away to your house, at least over here, it's gonna give you a hint about the last removed date and time. Unfortunately, it cannot show you the location, but at least you get the date and the time so you can approximate where you were at that given time and backtrack that way. But the big thing is, I want you guys to just make sure you test this out once. Just put this on the table, enable the feature, walk away. Go to the next room, upstairs, downstairs, hear the prompt so you're used to it, so if it happens outside of your house, you know that that's what happened. All right, let's move on. So I'm gonna to go to my notes application right over here, uh, notes application, and I'm just gonna go uh, create a brand new note. Now, one of the best things with this uh, phone, obviously with the pen is that you can take notes. So activate note taking by tapping here. Now I can start writing. 
And basically, if you are a student, a teacher, engineer, contractor, whatever you are, you might want to take some precise sketches. But normally, when you draw like a circle, it remains like this. Or if you draw a triangle or an arrow, you can see these are very unprofessional and dirty looking. So what you can do is, let me just create a new page. At the bottom here in the bar, you scroll over and you tap on this icon right here. It says auto fix shapes. If you tap this guy, now when I draw a circle, look at what happens to that circle. It becomes a perfect circle. Triangle, same thing, all right? Arrow, same thing. So I can create these powerful uh, flow charts, or if I'm in a math class, I can do all kinds of things, and you can see it's very nice. And the good news is every time you create a shape, you can access that individual shape, okay? So you can see, I can take that shape away. I can tap this guy, I can take that shape away. So I can rearrange it to make it perfect. Or, just another example, if you want three exactly same shapes, you tap on a shape, you copy, and you simply paste. Look at this, press and hold, paste. Now I have shapes of the same size that I can create precise diagrams from okay so every little thing here is customizable as you can see make it small big move it around cut copy paste fantastic guys you can use this to take some amazing notes let's move on now while we are in the subject of taking notes one more thing you can do that's amazing you can do this without the S Pen S Pen is just there to draw and sketch but if you go into a any note you can add images to that note Okay, so here's a note, and let's say I want like a reference image. I can simply tap on plus, and I can add a whole bunch of things, a voice recording, audio file, whatever, but I'm gonna do an image, so that allows you to go to your gallery, okay? And I'm just gonna put this image of myself right here, tap on done. Now I have that image in there as a reference. I can move this around, as you can see, no problem, okay? It'll go anywhere, and the good thing is with that image, using the aspect, I can get really precise, I can make it bigger, larger, smaller, and I can even tap over here and crop an image. Okay, so let's tap this again, tap on crop, and look at this, as you can see. Okay, and then once it's cropped, I can move that around, no problem, and also resize it or whatever. So note taking can be amazing on this phone with the notes application. All right, the next thing I wanna talk about has to do with being able to unlock your phone with the actual S Pen. So if your phone is unlocked like, like this, by pressing this button, you can actually unlock the phone. So let me show you how to set that up. So go to the settings, go over to advanced features right here, go to S Pen, scroll down a little bit, go to more S Pen settings, and then enable S Pen unlock. So when you enable this for the first time, it is gonna ask you to put in your current PIN number. I'm gonna do it in mine right now. And then what it's gonna ask you to do is first just lock the phone. So right now the phone is locked. Now you can press the button and it's gonna ask you just one more time to put in your PIN number. And now you're all set. Now look at this. If the phone is turned off, I wanna unlock it, I press the button. And it's just gonna unlock it. Boom. Okay, so this is gonna be your key, so make sure you don't give it to anybody else. Uh, nobody can unlock it from here, okay? But you can use this as a key to unlock your S Pen. Tap the button, unlocks the phone. Oops, there we go. Should be close to it, by the way. It's very smart. And then go to the settings, go to advanced features, right here, S Pen, more S Pen settings, so make sure that's enabled. Now if you ever get sick of it and you wanna disable it, just tap over here. It's gonna ask you to put your PIN number again, then it's gonna be deactive. You're gonna be back to business as usual. All right, the next feature I wanna talk about has to do with the pop-up note feature. So basically you tap the button right here, double tap on the screen, brings up a note, and you can quickly take a note, jot it down, and you can exit out, or my favorite, you can put it to the side for later, okay? So if you're working on a project, you can keep bringing this up, adding your notes, and then tapping this, and making this small, and put it anywhere on the screen. Now make sure this is enabled. Again, you wanna be in advanced features, okay? Go to S Pen at the bottom, make sure quick notes is enabled. It's a powerful feature. Now once you are done with this and you exit out, it gets saved into your Samsung Notes application. 
And here's a related feature. If the phone is turned off, whether you have the always on display or not, just make sure it's turned off. It's not in the lock screen like this. So it's like this. All you do is bring the pen close to the screen, press the button, and that's going to bring up the screen off memo. And again, you can jot down notes on the go without even having to unlock your smartphone. Okay, so that's a great feature. So take down a quick contact information. If you're a contractor, make take some measurements. Or if you're a homeowner, you're doing something in the house, take some quick notes and then go to Home Depot, whatever. Okay, but that's the screen off memo for quick note taking as opposed to the other one that you can also use the pop-up one but this is better if you're working if you're doing something on the internet and you're taking notes based on that you can use this little window as well by the way this window can always always be maximized so you can actually take notes even with more precision with a larger canvas all right so that brings us to the end of this video if you have any questions comments or concerns drop them down below let me know for now guys have a fantastic day